Hey, hey, hey. Happy February, y'all. It is time for our February newsletter, and I love February. It is the month of love. It is my birthday month, so mwah, sending you some February love. Let's get started. I first want to give a huge shout out to my guest riders who courageously hopped on that bike Friday morning and helped me out. I followed doctor's orders and gave my body a break. And after a very rough start to the morning, discovering all four tires on my car had been stolen, <laughs> to show up to class and to feel y'all's energy was just, oh, magnetic. It totally turned my day around. And you rose to the occasion, you rocked, you looked great. And I've gotten some great feedback about that class. So I will definitely be doing that again. So if you missed out, don't you worry, more to come. So thank you guys. Another shout out to those of you that are inviting buddies and colleagues and roommates to class. You know, this is a workout that you find joy in, that uplifts your spirit, that makes you feel excited and have fun. And for you to invite other people and expose them to it, it brings me great joy. So thank you. Let's jump to a health tip. I want to discuss balance. Sorry about the noise. Looks like there's a moving truck outside. But anyways, back to balance. This is something I talk about in class a lot because in a town living in D.C. where people are very A-type, very serious, very smart, you know, we can kind of get stuck in this and forget that we have all these other awesome dimensions to our personality. You know, being well-traveled, liking to have our eating and drinking on the weekends, you know, finding joy in nature, finding hobbies. So we have to be able to turn off that side of us that's work and career and find our balance. Um, I am a huge TED Talk listener. I listen to them daily. I learn something all the time. So I'm including a link in here. It's about a 12-minute TED Talk. And this guy just really hits on the importance of being able to turn that brain off from work and find your balance. You know, think about for those of you that do know how to find it, where do you find it? Is it at the gym? Is it at home? Who are you with? Who's around you? How do you feel? How does your body react to it? How does your heart feel when you have stricken, found that balance? You know, and we can't aim for this every day. There's gonna be some days where we just got a lot of stuff to do. But if you're feeling that you had a day like that, how do you balance out the next day to kind of get your cool back? Give yourself permission to slow down, to find that balance. We are more than our work, y'all. So check out the TED Talk. It's great. If you have TED Talks you listen to that you want to pass my way, send them, y'all. I am obsessed with TED Talks. All right. A couple of announcements for you. So it is my birthday month and Oscar was kind enough to let me sub his class on Saturday, February 15th, which is my actual birthday. So I'm subbing his 11 a.m. class at Columbia Heights. And then afterwards, we're going to have like an informal potluck. So you can make something, you can just pick up a snack, but bring something to share with people afterwards. So we'll get nice and sweaty and I'll set up a little table and we can just snack and chat and be on our merry way. I would love to celebrate uh, my morning with you guys. Uh, what else do we got? Yes, my Puerto Rico retreat, which I have been planning with Chandra for over a year now, is finally here. So I will be out of town from February 19th until the 25th in Puerto Rico, cycling and swimming and eating and drinking and dancing. And uh, stay tuned, y'all. There may be another retreat before the end of 2020. So listen up. All right. What else do we got? Okay, this is news I've shared with a couple of y'all, but I'm still totally geeked out about it. So I said, why not share? One of my cycling students, Sam, is getting married in May, and he's asked me to DJ his wedding. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Y'all know how much I love music. You know how it fills my soul. You know how it makes us feel collectively. So to be able to DJ on a, such a special day that promotes love and foreverness just uh, warms my heart. So thank you, Sam, for that beautiful opportunity. And um, something else that is super exciting that is still in the works, but it is official. 
your girl is going to be a spin coach at the Pentagon. Yeah, baby. <laughs> In addition to hosting weekly spin classes, I will also be having health, well, health and wellness sessions and lunch and learns for Pentagon, for the military, for contractors, and for civilians at the Pentagon. This is... This was something I manifested years ago, and uh, I put the boots on the ground, and here we are. So it is a tremendous blessing to be able to serve in this way, and I'm super thrilled. So if you got buddies, you know, people that work at the Pentagon, let them know. Coach with Coco is on the way. Um, quick last announcement. I will be subbing in Chinatown Gallery Place this Wednesday the 12th at 6.30 p.m., and of course, you can catch me Saturday at 11 a.m. at Columbia Heights. That's all I got for y'all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Find your balance. Eat something nourishing. Smile at a stranger. Speak lovingly to yourself. And uh, I'll see you soon. Mwah! Ta-ta!